there was a king. This king wanted to be remembered for something. He wanted people to say of him that he was the best king that ever lived. How? He said he would like to give the best, give the best gift for people. So he now called his counselor, one of his very wise counselors. I want you to look at him. Put your hand down. There you go. Look at my eyes. He now asked his counselor, give me a counsel. What is the best gift? I can give my subjects so that when I pass on, they will remember me that I gave them the best gift. The counselor said, you cannot give them the best gift. They already have the best gift that anybody can ever have. Can someone think of any, the best gift that we have? The best gift. The best gift. Like that exactly right. The counselor said they already have life. Life is the best gift that anybody can ever have. So I want to tell you a story about life in a particular nation, a strange nation. Can I go to the chat? life in a, in a strange nation. This nation has a river, great river. Look at the river. It runs all through the nation and is divided into different streams. And this nation has different parts to it made up of different departments. We can see here. What can you read here? Ministry of Nutrition. That Ministry of Nutrition. Can we see this person carrying sacks into this windmill? This is called a windmill. Guinea, can you see it? Very well. Okay. So this is called a, 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 a windmill. So we have the Ministry of Nutrition here. In this nation, we also have another department. What can we read here? Ministry of Air. Ministry of Air. And can we see the person here blowing a bell here to ensure that they aspire all the time? Ministry of Air. Then again, there's another department in this nation. What can we see? Ministry of Defense. Ministry of Defense. Can we see the soldiers? These are the soldiers that defend this nation to ensure that there are no enemies in this nation. They defend the nation. And then we have another ministry here. Who can read it? Ministry of Transportation. As Ministry of Transportation. That's another ministry in this nation. You can see. Then there is another department here in this nation. What can we read? Ministry of Sanitation. Now the Ministry of Sanitation. Can, you can see the people here throwing away. You remember our sanitation? When do we have our environmental sanitation? Every last Saturday. Saturday, exactly. So this nation also has a department of sanitation. You can see the rubbish that the nation doesn't need. It goes up through the Ministry of Sanitation. And then, this nation has a government. This government is ever the same. Look at the government. What can we read here? The presidency. The presidency. This is the government of this nation. And if you look at the castle here, the presidential castle, you can see that it has five gates. One, two, three, four, five. Can you see the five gates? And these five gates actually have five streets linked to them. This one street, can we see here? What was this? The nose. This another street? The hand. This another street? The eye. This another street here? The ear. The ear. And this another street? 
tongue. The tongue. Are you all seeing it? So we can see this, all these five, five, what would I call them now? Stress. We call, we call them the ministry of sensation. Okay? They all link directly to the presidential castle, the presidency. And of course, we see this blood stream going to the presidency. And as I said, look at it, the blood stream is everywhere. With this river, it's everywhere. Okay? The river is everywhere. And there are inhabitants in this nation. I'm going to tell you the inhabitants. The inhabitants of this nation, they are ever working. They don't get tired. All the time they are working. Because they know that if they don't work, something bad will happen in the nation. So they are all working. They actually work to live and they need to work. So all the time they are working. They don't even know why they are working. They don't even ask for their reward or salaries. All they know that they must work. All the time they are working. The inhabitants. Now, who are the inhabitants of this nation? The inhabitants are the selves. There are many of them, many and many, millions and millions of cells. And what is a cell? I'll show you what a cell is. A cell, can see the caption, cell. The cell, a cell always has the nucleus and the nucleus is surround, surrounded by a protoplasm. This is a living mass around the nucleus, the protoplasm. So, as I said, this nation has millions of cells like this, millions and millions of cells. They are the inhabitants of the nation. Okay? Now, this nation, who is this nation? I wonder what this nation is. Yes. Our body. The human body. The human body. That's this nation, the human body. The human body is made up of millions of cells. Some of you have done invertebrates. How many of you have read invertebrates story? Okay. And we remember that we read about some animals that only have one cell. What are they called? Who remembers? Animals that have only one cell. Yes? Animals that have only one cell, they are called protozoa. Okay? There are some animals that have only one cell. But many animals have millions and millions of cells. Like human beings, you are made of millions of cells. It's just like building this, um, this school. When the Buddha started building this school, what they use? They, they started with a block, isn't it? And then they put another block. So we see that this, this building is made up of Exactly. Can we say millions of blocks? Yes. That is how we are also made up of millions of cells. Okay? Now, the cells are not the same. All cells are not the same. I'll show you a chart, another chart on the cell. All cells are not the same. Here, for instance, we have what we call the nervous cell. Now, here again, we have another cell called skin cell. There's another cell here, muscle cell. You can see that they are different, but all of them have the nucleus and the protoplasm. Okay? Now, cells of the same type come together to form what we call tissue. A tissue. For instance, nervous cells come together to form nervous tissue. 
and then the tissues come together to form what we call organs. Then organs work together to carry out a goal, to, 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 to fulfill a goal. And we call that a system. When organs work together to fulfill a goal, we call it a system. Now the human body is made up of different systems. Now, let's get back to our first chart. For instance, we have the Ministry of Nutrition. Ministry of Nutrition is what we call the digestive system. When you eat, when you eat food, your body needs the food to have energy, isn't it? If you eat rice, the body does not use the rice to have energy. The rice has to be transformed, digested, exactly, to a state that the body can use. Okay? So we have the digestive system. And the digestive system, we have different organs to, well, that work together to carry out the work of digestion. For instance, in our mouth, which organ do we have in our mouth? Yes? Organ. Saliva is it teeth? Yes? Teeth. Yeah, the teeth. The, we use the teeth to chew. chew the food. And then we have our tongue, don't we? Yes. And then after you have um, chewed the food, the, the, the food will go where? The esophagus. Very good. How did you figure that out? Exactly. So different organs work together to carry out different um, functions like digestive system then there's another one here we have ministry of air that is what we call the respiratory system exactly so the organ for instance ministry of air the nose is an organ responsible isn't it which other organ can you think about the lungs you are brilliant children okay so dear friends, you are going to watch a film that will make you know more about these things. You want to say something, Paula? Yeah, you have the brown eyes. Wow. Wow, the brown eyes. Exactly. So we have different organs that help us to have the... Um, yes, to do the work of respiration. Then we have the Ministry of Defense. Which system is that? Yeah. Your hands. Okay, I'll tell you. The Ministry of Defense is what we call the immune system. You mean how many of you have taken immunization before? Exactly. We take immunization to allow our body to be able to fight against diseases, germs. So we have the immune system. Yesterday somebody figured out something that yeah has to do with the immune system, but let's go on. Mama, I don't want you to say something, but let me quickly finish this. Then we have another ministry here. What ministry can we do? Ministry of Sanitation. Who can figure that one out? How many of us we? Huh? We all we, don't we? Yes. The liquid we don't, we don't want again, we breathe everything out. And then we everybody breathe in. Breathe out. You see, the air we don't need, we breathe out. Okay? So, the Ministry of Sanitation. We can figure that out. What system is that? What? The excretory system. You already have an idea. Or ideas of this thing. And then, which other one have we not talked about? Now we have the presidency. We can figure out the presidency. The presidency. Yes, yes. The the presidency. We are going to talk about that organ. The heart, but not the heart. The, the presidency. The presidency. The presidency. The, the sensation. Mr. Sensation is there, but we are talking about it here. The presidency is the brain. The presidency is the brain. Okay? The brain and some other organs. We are going to know about that. We call that the nervous system. Okay? Part of the nervous system. Brain, okay, that's the present. The brain is very important. Hmm? 
the present. That's where commas come out from. And the commas come, and can you see the mutual sensation? Hmm? Exactly. You see that the mutual sensation is directly connected to the brain or the presidency. Can we see that? But that's where all the commands come from, and the senses get the command and let us know what we should do. And somebody said something, somebody mentioned an organ, the heart. Somebody mentioned the heart. Yeah. That has to do transportation. Where is the transportation? Ministry of Transportation. We now talk about Ministry of Transportation. The Ministry of Transportation is somebody was saying something. Blood. The blood is always moving. Moving all over. And the heart pumps in blood. So you already have an idea of the system that makes up the Ministry of Transportation. Not only the blood, the blood moves about in our body, but we ourselves move about too. When we move about, we use something in our bodies that help us to move about. Yes? Our bones. Our bones or the skeleton. Okay? Our skeleton. And then something is attached to our bones. Yes. yes. Veins. Our veins. No, veins have to do with the Ministry of Transportation, okay? Veins, that's, we call those the blood vessels. If you look at your wrist, you see some tubes. If you look at your wrist, you see some tubes. In these tubes, you find the blood moving all the time, okay? Yeah, so those are the blood vessels. But you're not talking about the blood vessels now. You are talking about something that is attached to the bone or to our bones or skeleton that enable us to move. What can you touch? Just touch. I need it. What? I need flesh. Flesh. <laughs> Someone said it's okay. It's a muzzle. Muzzle. Show me your muzzle, everybody. Muzzle. <laughs> exactly. So our muzzle is attached to our skeleton. Okay? So we see that the nature of transportation is actually made up of the circulatory system, the blood pumps the blood, uh, the, the, the heart pumps the blood, and then it's also made up of the skeletal system and the muscular system. Okay? So we see that our body is actually made up of different systems. All the systems work together to form the human body, the human being. So that is my story for you today. Don't forget, I told you that we are made up of millions and millions of cells. Cells, cells, the cells of the same kind come together to form tissues. Tissues come, come together to form organs. organs. And organs work together to carry out different activities and they, they are called systems. These systems do different work, like the work of digestion, the work of moving about, the work of excretion, different... Respiration. Yeah, exactly, different work. So our body is actually made up of different systems. So that's my story for you today. You are going to watch a video that will tell you more about these things. Human body. Okay. The different systems that make a human body is what you are going to be studying.